We know there's not too much that's exciting about Thursday, but it is our job to make sure that you have a fantastic 50 minutes every Thursday at 6 p.m. But make sure you're always here, even on Wednesday and on Friday. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We have an amazing show lined up. There's so many hot topics, and today we are having a very special and a very heated Talk That Talk. So make sure you stay with us throughout the show. My name is Lydia KM, and that's Lydia KM on all social media handles. Welcome to the show, guys. I know yesterday we had like such a bomb show and every time you ask yourself can they top that we assure you that we can top that <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you missed yesterday's show we hope you've caught up on youtube but thank you for being here i'm joan muni at yamimami.ke on social Definitely. You guys already know you basically can't be anywhere else on a Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. You have to keep it locked on Ibu Television. And we're super excited for today's show. I'm actually excited despite the fact that I'm still starving. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like you guys, you give me motivation to believe in you. continue with this yeah. fast and this diet, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's your girl, Ayuma Kagui, simply Ayuma on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You look really skinny though. Yeah. If really? that's like the goal, yeah. yeah you, you look I feel like on one, one week, we need to do like a joint challenge like we, we all do a challenge no maybe not water but like something I agree. I will yeah. a, a workout challenge. challenge. Yeah. A workout I challenge. challenge. I, yeah, I will not diet for any of okay, you. Okay, wow. But I will work out. <laughs> I will, you I can will do, do cabbage, cabbage diet. No. Yeah, just eat cabbage. Of all things, yeah. cabbage. <laughs> no, Honestly, I'd rather have cabbage. I, I'd rather eat something. <laughs> That's Aww. how you're feeling right now. Yeah. 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 So sorry. So sorry. You're going through it. It's okay. Mm, but yeah. you know what? Here's something that we can eat. All the goose, uh, juicy, <laughs> the goosey gossip. Okay. Mm -hmm. The juicy gossip that we have in store for you guys. From people going hand on Edgar Obare all over uh, the netizens. The netizens the net are going wild on uh, Edgar Obare. And then, of course, we have actress Winnie Ruby who had to clap back at her haters over there on social media. Then we have Wafu defending herself on um, photo phot photographing, <laughs> taking <Photographing>. pictures, <laughs> photographing. I can't. <laughs> I haven't eaten, okay? Yeah, on it's okay. Taking pictures of her um, charity work. And then, last but not least, we have. Uh, Idris Sultan has apparently been arrested. We're going to find out on all of this and more on Hot Talk. Our tea guru, Edgar Obare, he has been the talk of the town for a hot minute now because he's the one who delivered us the hottest tea this week. And that was the tea about the boys club. If you don't know what I'm talking about, first of all, catch up on yesterday's show. But I'll just give you a little bit of a hint. Jalango and his friends had a WhatsApp group and they were just discussing all their things that they were doing, extramarital affairs, going here and there mm -hmm. in Kilele. She was to dream where with other girls and they're rating each other on who is the best and Jalango came up top. Anyway, since he exposed this, um, Edgar has been receiving some backlash. Of course, there's are people who like us who are just mm -hmm. like, thank you for delivering the tea. <laughs> but there's some people, of course, who have something to say. Mm -hmm. And some netizens are not happy with Edgar Obare, um, especially men. Men are taking the idea that you know you are not man enough like why yeah. would you expose your fellow man etc etc <laughs> bro code or whatever this is what some people um had to say um first things first when jalango was asked about this whole thing he said there is no problem as far as you know what edgar is doing there is no problem problem let him keep doing what he is doing you know behind closed doors he's no. like planning mm -hmm. to kill him but anyway <laughs> that's what he said publicly so some people um were saying basically um did first of all did edgar obari attend the men's conference that's aka why are you doing this mm -hmm. um and then what i'll say a man at the end of his thinking that's what some people believe um, about him um the men in tease or gabari what have you done to the boys club buona the whole story uki <clears throat> uki pitia una feel to kucheka slay queens mm, so, yeah, mm, so people are just essentially saying that he's not playing part of the team and him being the Moshane king is not really looking that good on the guy's point of view. And essentially people are even insinuating that he may be um, homosexual. homosexual. Um, basically people are not happy about him. Let me tell you, we are so over people <coughs> using you being homosexual as an, as insult. an insult. It's really just not. Secondly, the Bible says, uh -huh. the Bible says, whatever you do in the darkness will come to the light. So it doesn't matter if it was on Edgar Barre's stories, if, wherever, whether it was there or not, eventually all this would have come to the light. Because, Hakuna Siria Watu, 
wawili. wawili. That's what they always say. Obviously, mm. somebody there took screenshots, or maybe it was one of the babes who took screenshots, but somehow the whole thing came up. And let me tell you, just like that other sex tape that came out the other day of the, the, the lady in the threesome or the oh, yeah, yeah. let me tell you, things just always have a way of finding their way to the limelight. It yeah. just so happens that it was in Edgar Barre stories, mm -hmm. but it could have been anywhere else. Yeah. So I don't see why people are making such a big deal about it, just mm. because it was him. Exactly. Mm. And we are all forgetting what he does for a job. You know, you can't be mad at, like, for example, um, a, a journalist, okay? Like, when, when, when um, that certain uh, politician had his show, Mm -hmm. and he was there exposing things that were happening. He was doing gossip, but for news, for yeah. politics, not yeah. for entertainment. Yeah. That's still a job, you yeah, know? Yeah. So you can't be mad at someone that's doing their job because he never gives his opinion, mm -hmm. if you've noticed, for the, for the yeah. most yeah. part. Most he's not saying, yeah. oh my God, he is such a hot mess, child. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Yeah. No, he just said, here's what he's doing. Yeah. You guys mm -hmm. do what, what you want to do with the information. Yes. And I, I can... I can appreciate that. Yes, and now us yes. over here will be the ones who are saying you're a hot mess and yeah. why did you do that? Yeah. And, yeah. and even he's not even the one who himself has collated the information. It's yeah. other people. Like, oh, it's this it. guerrilla journalism. It's everybody who has now. It's just that it happens to be that it's his platform yes. where now he can actually tell a huge number of people. But it's not even him who went yeah. to go and start looking for the screenshots. They yeah. found him. Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you this. I feel like this is the whole attacking Edgar is just the most obvious and most patriarchal thing. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. men have done something, but because society doesn't want to hold them accountable, mm -hmm. we're going to find any other scapegoat around there. Mara, it's the girls. They should know that these men are married. Mara, it's Edgar. Like, why are you exposing people? At the end of it all, did they do what he's exposing them to have done? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they did. So him bringing it to light, you are just looking for a scapegoat. Yeah. How about you use all that energy to say, why are married men not acting better? Why yeah. is Jalanko not being hold, held accountable? Why is he disrespecting his wife? That's where the energy should be at. This is just people trying avo to avoid them, holding them um, accountable. I personally... <laughs> I knew there was going to be. I knew. I hope this does not reach Edgar because I am not playing with your power. Like, the way... I want Shaki, the youngin got dragged the oh, other day. Oh. If you mention him this close, he will bring all your tea. Anyway, for me, I, as I say, my the platform I use, I, I would like to do as much good as possible. Yes, he's revealing the truth, but the same way, that's not your truth. It's my truth. It's my truth to reveal. No, and that, no let me tell you. Job. He listen, is being investigative journalist. Let me tell you. Personally, for me, because <laughs> I could be on the other end of yeah. him. Right? Then don't do anything crazy. Don't go cheating around with a don't million do men. Don't anything that you wouldn't want to be exposed. It's like, the truth. Well, yeah. You know. But so yeah. all of us, everything we've ever done, we, we don't mind it being in public. Well, thank, you. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have all done things which is like, I may have done it and whatever, but I don't really want the whole world to know. So my point is that I do see where people are coming from when they are like, this is not like the best fashion to use your platform personally because yes, he is part I, of I think, shining the light mm, that is mm, mm, no you know what so i think i think there's a difference all right mm -hmm. let's say if i just made a mistake in my own personal life slipped and fell on some man and did the thing and blah blah Accident blah and i cheated man, yeah. no but you know th there's a difference between that in my own personal life and then i get exposed as opposed to having a whole group laughing about it and raiding women renting out apartments and saying yeah we yeah. did that we did that i'm the boss i'm the g da, da, da. that's the kind of attitude that he brings out yeah. so we need to be brought back down to earth you can have your mm -hmm. Own course, little skeletons exactly. behind the closet, mm. but keep them to yourself. Number one, number two, be a better human being, and number three, don't brag about it. And and also, can I just say, just to, uh, in closing remarks, Edgar Obare is a national treasure, and he must be protected. <laughs> Definitely, he is That's a it. national <laughs> treasure. <laughs> We must protect him. But you know what? You guys might have your own opinions on this. The WhatsApp number is down below. But someone else who is facing the wrath of netizens on social media is none other than actress Winnie Ruby. We all know her from being a witi on Real Housewives of Kalangwari. But recently she posted a picture on her social media wearing a beautiful red dress. I thought she looked really sexy and beautiful and amazing. Yeah. But apparently a what? lot of people had to comment on her weight gain. All right. And one person actually went and commented, Ati, unakavi baya. And but what I loved about the response that now Winnie had was she was like, um, this world is so funny. If there's someone who has the guts to call me ugly, then Sina Langu. Uh, uh, then she uh, added the girl and said, where at least ata ungekuwa unaka aziad ningekubali. Yeah.
Ouch. Mm. You need to look at yourself before you start dissing other people. Wow. You know? no. yeah. And what's the tag of the person, as we said? Favorite, Favorite person. Favorite child, child of God. Child of God. Oh, my God. Daughter of the Most High. Honestly. We should um, be ashamed. She's the thing. Yeah. First of all, I feel like she's always been like voluptuous woman yeah, yeah. i don't think there's like this is new um and you know we, we say like you know don't come for somebody who attacks you or whatever but if you're gonna come at them this is the best way yeah, yeah. this is the like you know i'm She's not taking it personal yeah. i'm not trying to teach you about body positivity or anything it's mm -hmm. just straight up this is me. what do you look yeah. like and it's you who's telling me something yeah. bye and she said there's another comment where she said she was like if you're waiting for me to lose weight boy she i'm so sorry for you yeah. because yeah. i mean if you're coming to tell me about something i'm not going to change you're just wasting your time exactly yeah this as, is the best as someone part. who gets fat shamed all the time i personally just find it laughable it's yeah. like when someone calls me fat i'm just like yeah then mm-hmm I'd rather be fat than be unkind than mm -hmm. be mean, which I am a little bit. But I'd rather, <laughs> like, there's so many things you yeah. can be that are worse than mm -hmm. being fat. Like, it's yeah. so annoying. And then I saw another meme the other day about how the haters were always hating on you. Then there was like a picture of a woman in like a tiny little cabin sitter with a mattress on the floor. Just like, this person is hating on you. Yeah. And they're there, literally, what is going on in your life that you have to come online to oh, actually sure. come and say something negative about somebody else? Like, yeah. honestly, why, why does it pain you so much that I'm fat? Is it because, actually, the reason why it pains them so much is because they can't understand understand how you can have the body that you have and be happy and like you thriving are, and thriving well. exactly. and they're, they're not like, happy and, and they're happy with so their body so it's yeah. like what, that's what the real problem is so yeah. look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself what's wrong with you before you go and find out what's wrong with someone else yeah and can i tell you if you if you are having that like hater vibe let me tell you how you know when you see somebody else confidently walking their life if that makes you uncomfortable you're not the worst person. All you need to do is just do some introspection yeah. and work on feeling confident with your own. Because funny enough, I may not be voluptuous myself, but when I see like um, a bigger lady who's like super confident with your body, even the way you are, mm. uh, it makes me feel like, oh my God, I should be more confident about mine too. Yeah. Yeah. Because no matter what size you are, we all have um, personal issues about how we look. So the more people who are confident the way she is, mm -hmm. you don't have to be big to get the message. Yeah. The message is that this is a body that you're in learn how to love it even though you're working on it and you're trying to make it better Absolutely. but learn how, how to love it yeah, yeah. this is one of my favorite clapbacks for uh, sure. right i know <laughs> and that's why ayuma you know people have been asking why yeah. are you doing the water water diet it's mm -hmm. because you want to feel better in your body right yes, yes. and <laughs> i feel like if somebody wants to lose weight let them lose weight how like if even they if they're small but not, by the way exactly yeah. ex that's the thing and not every fat person wants to lose weight yeah not every thin person is happy that like, thank you please yeah thank I mean, you there's, there's so much we can say about this but let us know what you think the hashtag is ibu let's talk the sms oh not the sms line the whatsapp number is down below please send us your feedback we'll be able to read it in tomorrow's show maybe if we are able mm. now in the next one something else that has been happening during this quarantine time that people have really been talking about is how people have been going to give charity and then taking pictures and posting on their social media we talked yeah. about diamond doing it the other day mm -hmm. and now another famous singer has come under fire for doing the same thing so Wahoo recently posted a picture on her Instagram where she and a politician had gone to Langata Women's Prison to give, um, I think, sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. I believe they're giving sanitary towels. So she posted and said, earlier today, me and um, certain women leaders handed over 200 care packs to ex-inmates of Langata Women's Prison, and then they tagged the brand that was supporting them. Mm -hmm. But this didn't go well with some of her fans. One of them said, what are the cameras for? Mkipiana vitu zamana mnaweza tumia camera, which is like, I mean, come on. That's but so she, <laughs> yeah, exactly, she quickly clapped back and said, cameras are for appreciating partners who support initiatives and also to encourage others such as corporates and individuals to do what they can. There's a lot which you don't know because it doesn't need to be known. And basically she just said that she does other charity which she doesn't necessarily post about. Mm -hmm. Now what I loved about what she said is that when you see someone's life on social media you can quickly assume that everything you've seen is, is what they're yeah. doing exactly yeah. like everything they no. have posted that's everything they are doing but that's not the truth because social media is just it's the only thing you'll only see what i want you to see yeah. you know yeah it's and true. i'm tired of people making poor feel bad for posting yeah i'm here know, this charity. is what, how i feel about like the whole charity thing um yeah. there is sometimes the way it's orchestrated that makes you feel nauseous there's a way that yeah. some people do use these kind of moments mm -hmm. um for political gain as we've said like you've seen some people who are giving things are like they're giving out water but their face is on it yeah. like you can tell sometimes people are trying to gain from it mm -hmm. and you it just feels like Wrong. nauseating yeah. but i remember queen b beyonce saying she was just like there's so many times that i don't want to share it out because it seems like look at me doing charity mm -hmm. but her pastor told her we live by example yeah. if you do the thing that you do like when you work out you might inspire somebody else to work out. Yeah. If you give to charity, you might ins um, inspire somebody else to um, to 
give to charity. And also she mentioned this about corporate. When you're working with a partner, like or another brand, it's like yeah. it's almost part of your agreement yeah. that when we work together, you're going to post these pictures, yeah. you're going to tag us, and you know we're going to get traffic on our page. Yeah. So I, ma um, I made that. I feel like there's a fine balance. It's a delicate it's dance, a big, yeah. but there is a place where you can do both the inspiring so other people can do it and also don't be like this disgusting person who's using charity for yeah. your own personal gain. And like you have to take it case by case. Mm -hmm. Like it's not always going to be the same. Like a you roof, just, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I feel as if like my balance when it comes to showing or documenting your charity work mm -hmm. are two things. Yeah. yeah. Um, number one, homeless people don't stick a camera in their face showing that you're being nice to them and you're giving food and whatever. Because if you were to put yourself in that same situation, situation because anybody can be homeless right. you would not want the person who's coming to help you to be showing a camera in your face that's number one and number two the second one which might be a bit controversial because i see a lot of people's on their social media mm -hmm. children's homes show the home don't show the child mm. i feel as if like as you grow up later on in life you might not have and you grow up to be amazing or do all these other things the child might not want to be on your social media right you know mm. so i feel as if you can say we're going to x and y z children's home mm. you show the home you show the whatever but don't be there like with this cute little baby sitting on your lap and saying like <laughs> saved her life you know what i mean like it yeah. just i feel so like when it comes to children and homeless people mm. that's where the i balance. don't want to see mm. you showing that you're helping it's true. you can say you're helping mm. minus yeah. showing the homeless person's face or yes the child's i think that's face. a good balance yeah. you can say like this is unless you obviously you have a partner or something yeah like mm -hmm. on my birthday i will show this is a home i go to to yeah. do this yeah. but then the ins and outs there i tend to just keep that yeah. private yeah. um so yeah there is a balance but let us know what you think mm -hmm. are people coming at wahoo for no reason yeah. or do you see why people are feeling like you why are the cameras there let us know the hashtag is Ibu. let's talk and the whatsapp number is down below now i we share, we talked about this just before you need to know which country you live in and you need to know the laws that you live in. Mm -hmm. So the latest victim of being arrested for no apparent reason is Idris Sultan. He's a comedian from TZ and he's been arrested again, yeah. right? He was arrested last year because he photoshopped himself um, as the president saying he can take the president's jobs. Do what? Just something very mm -hmm. silly. Yeah. He was arrested and now he's been arrested again and he's been arrested for cybercrime. That's it. Yeah, like th that, that's all we have for you. Like you know, um, in TZ, an official is actually able to say, "Go and arrest this person," and yes. that's going to happen. Whereas mm -hmm. here in Kenya, like, there's a bit mm -hmm. more of a process, mm -hmm. or you need to like obviously break a law that we are all aware of, yeah. and you need to be told why you've broken the law, etc., etc. But on this case, it's just cybercrime. So he's spent um uh, he spent a night. Um, in jail and his lawyer is trying to do the very best he can wow. but that's TZ I mean that's TZ people like people, you need to yeah. know where you live I, yeah. and, and, and there needs to be a law against arresting hot people amen <laughs> to that <laughs> because a man who looks like this doesn't deserve to be in prison like he's in danger there yeah he needs to come and bless our I love his Instagram feed like he's that's always amazing. like some of his captions are in such deep Swahili I don't even understand what he's saying but I like them anyway yeah I, really I don't understand anything he says I but know <laughs> spiritually <laughs> We are connected. We you yeah, know exactly. what I feel? I don't think he's a dummy. I think that yeah. he knows he, he's he's a he's a he's a public figure. He's a comedian. Mm -hmm. He knows the laws in his country. He was arrested before, so I feel as if he's like, hmm, if I do this crime, which is not a big crime to like the rest of us, yeah. uh, cyber what was this cyber, cyber crime, crime. That's all we know. how much am i how long am i going to be in jail one day oh i can do that time but now everybody's talking about me mm. oh now i have my clout that's honestly what i feel like if it's become in tanzania because there's some other uh, let's call them socialites yeah. who post like scandalous pictures they get and arrested. then they get arrested and then now everyone is talking about oh my gosh nani was arrested oh my gosh she didn't, she didn't even do anything that bad boy 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 and then we go and look at the picture and all of that stuff mm. i feel as if right now for tanzania it's now doing the opposite yeah. you don't want them to do that behavior but now you're putting such a huge uh, public thing on it yeah. so that now they're doing it anyway i, yes. I can see that i can yeah. see that girl i can yeah. mm. okay idris you know the whole of kenya sends you so our much prayers love. and our <laughs> love and we hope you're released soon i can and offer a shoulder to cry you on as come well. down Let's relax. Okay. <laughs> Let us know what you think, guys. The hashtag is Ibu. Let's talk in the SMS. The WhatsApp number guy, is down mm -hmm. below. But right now, it's time for Ask the Girls. Yeah. So um, in today's question, which of course we got from our um, Instagram handle at Ibu Let's Talk underscore official, please remember you can always send us your, your issues or your troubles and we would be more than happy to help you solve them. So this comes from a lady. She says, hi, girls. I'm a 30-year-old lady and married in church. 
good to make that distinction. Mm. Married mm. in <laughs> church. <laughs> Me and my husband cohabited for two years, got a daughter, and then got married in church. Now, before the wedding, we had broken up because I was just not that into him. But I felt huruma for him, which I like. I felt bad for him because he's a nice guy and a nice dad. But the chemistry had died out for me. I married him so that he can keep being a good dad to my daughter. Oh. I did not want to separate them. Now, I cheated. <laughs> I am ashamed being... <laughs> And I've been praying for God to forgive me. And the guy I cheated with wants to marry me. He stays abroad. Like he's ready, just waiting for me to say I am ready. And I believe and I believe him. He's single and 40, never been married before. It's not even about me. It's about me lying to my current husband. I don't want to be that person, the one that lies. It's just wrong to him. I feel like because I am not happy and now I lied, I should leave. Am I right? And I love the other guy. Should I pursue it? Okay, let's oh, start. Wow. You're not right. Oh. You're not right. To want to leave. leave. Oh, oh. No, she's oh. saying, is she right to want to leave him? And because she lied to him. Yes. Because she's, 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 she, she's not in love with him. She's not in love and she lied and cheated. Yeah, first of all, the, 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 the reasons to get married were always off anyway. Because yeah. as much as we prioritize having two parents in a household, having two parents who are not happy, who are not connected whatsoever, yeah. teaches children that they, uh, they can also do that. Mm. And then we have these generations of people constantly having relationships that do not serve them. Yeah. Who's happy here? So the reason for getting married was never right in the first place. So the reason is there is still there. So you wanting to leave, I think, is right. However, um, there's something that Joe posted on her thing yesterday, and she said, "You see that guy who's um, replying faster than your boyfriend? Yeah. He's um, he's, um, he's replying, he's replying slow to, to his, his girlfriend. girlfriend. Stay where you are. <laughs> um, it always seems nice. The, the thing out green, there yeah. mm. always seems really nice. But here at home, you know. So I feel like maybe you should just." I don't know what you should do, girl. I think she should analyze herself oh. and see what is the reason why she wants to leave her husband. She's other than, because uh, it could be, you know, sometimes because now you've stepped out of your marriage and seen something that's supposedly better, yeah. you think what you have is not good. Right. The, he hasn't been a bad person, he hasn't been a bad husband, mm. hopefully. Yeah. Mm. But if he's been a good husband to you, you really need to think about like, am I leaving him for someone else? Because I think leaving someone for someone else is always like, the dumbest idea. Honestly. You should never do that. Like, yeah. if I'm going to leave you, it's because I don't like what you do of I don't think reason. exactly what me and you are not compatible blah 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 but never leaving me, you for another person because that other person isn't gonna like reach your expectations as well and he's also you're that just gonna be moving to the next too. to the next to the next what's better 100%. I didn't I didn't know I I don't know I feel like <laughs> I feel like in other circumstances have you left someone you, for the other person I have and it didn't there work out go. but let me tell <laughs> you <laughs> see this is different because you see <laughs> she even says that from before she got married she had already she was already not into yeah, him. yeah. So it's like the, the premise, like you were saying, the premise for getting married was already like oh. raw, was off. So I feel like in this case, it's not really like she's leaving him because of this other guy. It's that yeah. either way, she still wants, she still did not want to be with him. Right. And this is just an example of how, if you are unsure about something, like why did you, why did you go ahead and, and make those vows? Like, I feel like it would have been so much easier to solve if you were not actually yeah. married. Like yeah. you know, divorce, especially in Kenya, by the way, divorce is such a long process. I know because the, of the fights I've had with my husband before, mm -hmm. I've been there googling how to divorce my husband, <laughs> but I love him. And I'm not gonna leave him. But mm -hmm. my point is that I personally feel like if you already know that you're not happy in yeah. that relationship, mm -hmm. don't necessarily leave him and then now jump and go abroad yeah. to marry this guy. Mm -hmm. Leave him and then now just see how you feel before you start jumping to something else and then you end up in the exact same situa yeah. situation that you're in right now. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. also, I know we take a lot of time to condemn men who cheat, so we need uh, to take a moment. That's what I was about to you. say. Let's have the same Sister, energy. Yeah. It is disrespectful. It is just completely out of line to step out of your marriage when you have the option of communicating, when you have the options of therapy, when you have the options of leaving, for you to do that to somebody else. And we know exactly the kind of, we're trying to hold men to a better standard, but the minute you are doing what they are doing, we are all in the same game and nobody is winning. So it's not okay, it's never okay to cheat on someone. Which she knows, which is why she acknowledges. And yes, she feels we, really we, bad. Want, we want you to, we mm. want to have the same energy because mm. this was a guy, mm. we would be tearing But him a guy out. would not yeah. be here saying, I feel so bad, I, I feel so bad for lying to her. Can I? Yeah. Mm. We sure have there's some men. The girls I'm sure there's, somebody. there's some men, I'm sure, who feel bad for cheating. Yeah. Really? I, I think so. You, you guys are not all bad. Yeah, mm. we're not all bad. But yeah, I feel like the moving on here is that either you give yourself, give yourself 
time in your marriage to yeah. actually decide whether or not this is a no-go. And then if it's a no-go, let it be a no-go on its own separate merit. And then whatever happens with this other guy who wants to marry you, first of all, take a breather between the two of them and so that yeah. you can kind of analyze yourself. Like, what's your decision making? What do you want? Like, what makes you happy? Because if this one you married and you weren't happy, and why this other one, marriage like that? Mm. this yeah. other one might just be looking like a little glittering little thing that you want to play with. And then when you really get into it, you will feel the same thing. Yeah. So take some time in your marriage first and then make the decision just like separately. But leaving is, there's no crime with leaving if you're not happy. Like yeah. I completely agree with yeah. that. I think that's, 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 that's a good way to yeah. sum yeah. it up. You know, if you guys have any advice that you think we haven't given to her, the WhatsApp number is down below. And of course, if you have a question that you want to ask us, go ahead and DM us on Ebru Let's Talk underscore official. But right about now, we're going to go on a short commercial break. Don't go anywhere because when you come back, it's about that time for Talk That Talk. Welcome back to Talk That Talk Thursday. We are so happy that you are joining us. Today, although it's a Thursday, we definitely feel like there's a Friday energy. And we hope you are feeling the same at home. Make sure you stay on the hashtag Ibru Let's Talk and the WhatsApp number is down below. Now, we to I told you that we're going to be doing a very hot and fight-worthy Talk That Talk. Mm -hmm. So let's get straight into it. It's time for Talk That Talk. So today's Talk That Talk is inspired by um, someone's post on Facebook. So I'm just going to read it out loud. Um, women often enter into relationships trying to cook their way, intercourse their way, force their way, serve their way, submit their way into a man's heart to prove their worth or to be chosen and usually chosen by a man who sat back and reaped the benefits of her affections and I and dare I begin to mention the emotional heavy lifting that some of us do to love men who aren't capable of loving us back in a healthy way we fight in we fight to open him up soften him up earn his trust be the mother he never had show him loyalty he has never received overlook the red flags because he has potential be his therapist settle for mediocre courtship settle for lackluster intercourse settle for selfishness and no re reciprocity diminish ourselves for fear of being labeled as too opinionated high maintenance or bougie mm -hmm. we carry the burdens of unhappy relationships that Crap, um, that crap actually ages us. I wish that women would collectively choose to be in mutually loving, fulfilling, and healthy relationships that don't begin with drama and heartache, but instead with sweetness, love, empathy, and openness. Mm -hmm. I have never heard anybody go to church about something like more yeah. than that. Yeah. Speaking of somebody who has been that woman that love me, pick me, what do you need? How else can I compromise myself? What? What do you want? Therapist, yeah. mother, <laughs> baby I'm mother. I'm that. <laughs> I'm that. I have been that oh, yeah. so often in my life and it took a great degree of trauma to shake me up and wake, wake me up out of that yeah. situation. Now where I stand, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. right? Even if it's a small casual situation, if it is not mutually at par, bye. Excuse me? Yeah. Goodbye. You know, this reminds me exactly of something that I think you said either last week or mm. the week before last mm -hmm. about how you've reached a place where you've, you know that you don't have to be needed for to you be to wanted. be wanted. Yeah. Like you can, somebody can just want you just the way that you are. You don't have to be his mom. You don't yeah. have to be his, yeah. you know, you don't have to be his chef. You don't have to be his cleaner mm -hmm. for him to actually want you. Mm -hmm. And like for me, when you read that, I, was, I just thought two things about it. Like, yeah. First, why do we as women do that? Yeah. And then two, mm -hmm. how can we stop being those people? Because yeah. like naturally, mm -hmm. even the Bible says we are born to be nurtured, like yeah. nurturers. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that word? Nurturers. Yeah. Yeah. So like you, you, are, you come across something, and especially as Pisces, mm -hmm. and you want to fix it, and you want to help it, and you yeah. want to like, you want to be the one responsible for helping it grow, mm -hmm. you know? And you want to be like, I want to be the one who takes care of it. Yeah. But why? Yeah. I why? mean, as women, we've been conditioned to doing that. Like yeah. even uh, the things, the toys which you're, you're given as a, as a kid, yeah. it's a doll that you need to wash and take care of. It's a yeah. kitchen thing that you need to cook mm -hmm. it's like when you're when you're growing up it's like you you're in the kitchen with your mom helping i mean we are conditioned like that from the beginning boys yeah. what do they do they go and play yeah they go and play so you are this one is being raised to do what they want and this one is being raised to take care of the other when they meet yeah. what's gonna happen yeah this one's gonna sit and relax and this one is gonna yeah yeah nurture exactly. and take care and all that so i know that happens but on a more personal level it happens because of how we feel about ourselves 
Mm. Let me tell you, there's many women who are breaking these laws. There's many women who don't oh, yeah. don't say to these rules, what's the difference between them and other people? Right, right. It's how they feel about themselves. Yeah. So the only way to stop it is to have a relationship with yourself, which you know, as I said, you are lovable point blank without moving, without doing anything. And mm. also love is also taking. Yeah. We yeah. think love is just giving. Love is also taking. It's receiving, not it's re taking, but huh? receiving. Oh, receiving, sorry. Yeah. And taking sometimes. Taking sounds a bit forceful. Huh? Oh, but would it be forceful if a man said it? No. No. Exactly. I feel so like when it comes to this topic, yeah. I have like some like, eh, -huh about it. Okay. Because like for the, for the most part, I do believe that, you know, you shouldn't be there like over, overly extending yourself to the point where you're hurting yourself yes. and your partner is there just chilling and not giving the mm -hmm. same back. But I also don't think there's a problem with trying to make that man grow into something if if if, if, if into listen 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 into something yeah, that is for me please. listen listen and let me say for example right yeah. so for example my your partner is not the most talkative yeah mm -hmm. i and i make him a talkative person until now in our relationship he's now talkative i don't think that's the problem i don't think now you have to be like oh he's not a talkative person <laughs> bye mm -hmm. i feel so like sometimes with men there's a way that you can kind of be, without a way that's not straining on you, mold them into the person that you want them to be. Yeah. I think that's like the most toxic thing you've said. I don't on think the that's show. toxic. Or oh, let me tell you what. This, let me tell you why. Because and not mold of them, them like changing them into a bad person, yeah. but like you're gonna learn how to talk with this me, and he's learned how to speak with but, me. But but mm -hmm. here's the thing, yeah. You the, the the problem becomes when we are making it. It's us who's doing it. That's not you who did it. You think you did that. Yeah. But it's him with his willingness who chose but maybe to he never to had the, he, he never had that opportunity to now become more expressive yeah. and that's something. fine but you can be someone's opportunity and yeah. i agree with that because yeah. all of us 100 percent, when you get with someone maybe it's even cooking yeah. that you know you teach them different things mm. the, the 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 toxic situation that um it, it comes when you believe it's you who's making the person you're not okay. making the person anything yeah, yeah. and unfortunately that narrative when it's put in a situation where the man doesn't really want to change what happens that's where that's, that's, that's where a negative and that's why yeah. i don't use like i say any rule of thumb that you can really spin and somebody else like it will it, it has 50 percent chance of failing mm. let's not just use it exactly. how about yeah you present yourself as the one who you are whatever that means yeah. and whatever is, he's inspired however he's inspired to grow or be like whatever mm. then he does but yes. this i'm making you do anything yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, I, I think I said this on the show like mm. sometime last year mm. that you have to be prepared for if your man never changes, like the way that you found him, yeah, if, yeah, yeah, if yeah, he yeah, never yeah. changes, will you be okay? Yeah. Because if you're sitting there saying, no, 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 I know in five years he's going to be like, I know in That's 10 years, what then I you're there like, 20 yeah. years later yeah. and he's the exact same person. You have yeah. to be prepared for if he never ever changes. Yeah. Of course, in your heart of hearts, you're always like, me, I would do anything for him. Like mm. I would change myself for him. Mm. So even him, he should also... Mm. That's no. not necessarily the case, you know. Yeah. However, I also feel like there's nothing wrong with going into a relationship wanting to be the best version of yourself. You know, right. wanting 100%. to put your best foot forward, mm -hmm. whether it's intercourse, yeah. whether it's feeding, mm -hmm. whether it's what. Mm -hmm. But when it's just a point where you're literally having to, you, now you don't even recognize yourself anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like Lydia would never cook now. Every day she's like, guys, I need to do the show. <laughs> Today I'm making lasagna and <laughs> this salad. And you're just like, do you even, are you even happy yeah. doing that? You know, yeah. it's yeah. different if like, yeah, it makes me happy because I like, know my man likes it. And yeah. like, but if you're like so miserable, like you're getting home and he's like, why haven't you cooked? And yeah. you're like, oh yeah. man, I yeah. need to now cook. Yeah. Then it's a problem, you know? I, so put true. your best foot forward, yeah. but it shouldn't be at the expense of you being authentic to who you actually are. Yeah, and he's, he's the truth fact. After like, we are, after you're a certain age, like you improve to mm. a certain degree, but your core changes um, remains the same. The same. Yeah. So yeah. do you know what happens when you make somebody change or somebody tries to be something that they are not for you? They become resentful. Yeah. They become resentful of you. Mind you, like they are, they are all agreed. And women, we know this. We know. You are that woman, you know, you are ironing every day. You're cooking every day. And guess what? Why do you feel annoyed six months into doing it? Because you weren't doing it for yourself. Yeah. You, that wasn't really you in the first place. Yeah. Because, for example, the things that I know I do so naturally well, I cannot resent you for them because I do them. Yeah. But now because I'm trying to force this other character, I will start hating you because you are the reason why I did it. But mm. really it's because I'm avoiding taking responsibility of me changing for you. Question. Yeah. Where, where do you put this now? Obviously, when you meet someone, mm -hmm. there's things that me, I like in, uh, let's say I'm a man, mm -hmm. there's things that I like in a woman which I would maybe want you to do. Right. And I would, I don't I would expect that you would do them, mm -hmm. but I would maybe request and yeah. I would love it if you would do them even if you don't like 
yeah, to do that. Right. Yeah. I, I feel like that's part of like relationship, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. But it cannot be something that, as far as you're concerned, is completely contradictory to who you are, yeah. right? For example, one of my friends was dating like literally the perfect guy. I mean, take every box Everything, you can. Yeah. Yeah. However, his idea of how he wants a woman, he wants a woman who stays at home, and takes care of the kids because he's from like a very rich family and he'll bring home the bacon, right? She is like a straight A student. She's like in one of the best, um, went to the best um, unis in London. Mm. She's like a boss mm. now. Yeah. Now, do you see yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. So, mm. but if somebody is like, um, babe, like in the mornings, I like to do this. Then I don't mind. That. Like, that. Oh, I like my yeah, coffee. Yeah. Exactly. Like yeah. you know, black you know or mean? something. Please make for me breakfast because I'm such a hurry. I wouldn't mind that. You know, one hundred percent. But like, if you have to change your core person, there's a difference. Yeah. But yeah. I did. I also feel as if like even these small things, it's not a problem. Yeah. Sometimes like women, I love us, but we become too much. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> if the, we are, we How are, are we are. Out? Because honestly, if the man, if, if the man is doing X Y Z to bring this to your home, yeah. and now you you're refusing to cook or you're refusing to whatever, like what exactly? do you want it to be where it's like a partnership you know yeah, we talk exactly. about how we want a rich man we want a man that can take care of mm. us we want a man that's bringing home the bacon mm. and then once he brings it home like i'm not frying it yeah. do you expect me to fry it i'm just like <laughs> what, where is the compromise yeah, exactly. yeah you have a phd you expect me to fry it <laughs> like where is the compromise yeah. Yeah. At? let yeah. me tell you we have to help each other do. funny enough can i say the the biggest distinction with this is she said mutually beneficial exactly. yeah. so whatever you choose to do to meet your man at the 50 percent exactly. mark yeah. right mm -hmm. because he's meeting you at the 50 percent that is totally okay and let me tell you this i would be so many things and mm -hmm. i would be able to sacrifice so much harder when somebody same. else is Absolutely. bringing it yeah. right yeah. and i feel like the biggest point with this is that you're not Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you are doing it to receive it. Exactly. That's the problem. Mm. But when somebody's already coming 50% of the way, everything takes effort, sis. Yeah. Everything takes effort. So yeah. it's not he's coming 50% of the way, but you, you, you want him to come 100% yeah. and vice versa. Hey, but relationships are so much work. Like, it's when I say this, I'm effort. like, what? Sometimes you even oh ask yourself, God. like, would I rather be single? But when you're single, you're just alone and you're sad. Mm -hmm. But they, so you want the good things of the relationship. But then sometimes it's just like, wow. It takes like, so much you know, effort. You actually have to, sometimes in my marriage, I just have to sit with myself and just have a meeting with myself. <laughs> yeah. Just like Johan. Yeah. As in, you know, especially when you like have a fight with your boyfriend or whatever, and you know you're in the wrong, but you're just like, like but you I just don't want to say sorry. I just don't want, you I'm know. And, you, and then, or you just think about the journey it's going to take for you to actually solve the thing. And you're just like, is it even worth it? But yeah. obviously, it's worth it because relationships are what keep life going. Yeah. Like whether it's your friendships or mm -hmm. your, you know, your partner and what. Mm -hmm. And relationships are work. Like they, they, they require work. work. They shouldn't yeah. be hard. I don't think relationships should be hard. If you're crying every day, That's please, are you dating an onion? Let's yeah. know. <laughs> Thank you. It yeah. should be work, but it should not be hard. It should not be painful for you to have to love somebody. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the balance is that don't be lazy. Like yeah. my, my, yes. my newest, um, yeah. my newest sayings that um, I've been taught by someone is it takes, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it takes effort uh, yeah. everything mm. right you know like joe like how you've built your career as a content creator yeah effort you think that just waking up every single day yeah. knowing mm. that there needs to be content to be put up there there needs to be stories there needs yeah. to be research there needs to be it takes effort so anything good that you see yeah. that you admire you've got to be willing to actually put in the effort because otherwise you don't really want it sure. so relationship yeah. having to meet thing. someone yeah. 50 percent of the way every <laughs> Every single day yeah. is too much. So, yeah. but what we draw the line, ladies and gentlemen, is that when you're constantly questioning your worth, when you're const um, you're, you're constantly thinking, maybe if I do this, he'll they do love this. Me, or he'll love me more. Yeah. There yeah. you go. You've already you've you've done. It's over. Yeah. It's over at that point. It should be. Oh, today I want to do this for this amazing man yeah. who's mm -hmm. done this. Mm -hmm. Um. So Ayuma always preaches about this because she has a very good dynamic in her relationship. Yeah. It's bring home the bacon and don't stress me about the check. Yeah. And I will it. fry it yeah. and clean. And I feel so that's okay because like even there was a time I would be so annoyed. I'm like take out the trash because like in my mind I'm like taking out the trash is a man thing to do. So yeah. like. 
out, you take out the trash. Yeah. I, and I, that could be turned into Western a huge argument. Ice, to a yeah. Week yeah. Yeah. argument. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, why has he not taken out the trash? And then he was like, and then I was like, wait a minute. Okay, but what does he do that you know you don't do? Yeah. Like, I said, do I ask you about the oil in the car? And I'm like, no. Do I ask you about the da da da? No. Ayuma, you can take out that trash. It's, it's not going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when he does all these things that I know I'm not going to be a part of. Yeah. So as long as like there's that compromise and he's doing his part and yeah. I'm not doing everything plus his part, yeah. it makes it better. But it, I still don't like taking out the trash. Yeah. But it's not, that's why I'm also, I also it's don't like that part. It's not a huge thing. It's not, yeah, it's so not. it's okay to still do something that you don't like, yeah. but he's You're not compromising your spirit. Exactly. Yeah. You really aren't. Yeah. Um, so what about, um, what's the leeway? Um, in a relationship as far as okay so I'm trying to get to know this person I'm doing my 50% but he's mm -hmm. not yet doing his, his 50% mm -hmm. what, what leeway are we given to be able to get to know someone without then reaching a point where you're you found yourself Honestly, in a calm me six months six months six months yeah. yeah but also from what you just said i remember when we were going through our premarital counseling we were told there's no 50 percent and 50 percent everybody is supposed to be giving a hundred their own 100 percent and they told us there are times in a relationship where one party might not be in a position to give a hundred percent like one party might be going through something maybe they lost their job maybe someone died and they're not able to give you a hundred percent yeah you are still supposed to keep giving your 100 percent i agree you are supposed to keep For sure doing what you're supposed to be doing mm -hmm. but obviously there's a limit yeah. in a relationship i would say six months mm -hmm. in a marriage i mean also eh. six months before eh. you start saying okay now we need, we need to, have to maybe exactly <laughs> yeah. or we need to have some external you know uh, input or something or like yeah. therapy or something yeah. like that mm -hmm. because obviously at some point you also don't want your own mental health to start being affected sure. yes. by you know what you're doing yeah. and i think you can always just you can always feel you know you can feel when you have love to mm -hmm. give and like you're like you're comfortable giving the love yeah. but at some point when you you just you know. It, you know. If you, women, we just know. Yeah. We, we just know. Yeah, we, we just, just know. Like, you'll know when it's like, I'm reaching my, my limit, I'm yeah. reaching my boundary. And then yeah. at that point, it's important to communicate to the other person. Yes. So that you also give them a chance to step up. Just be it's like, true. I really feel like I've been giving a lot and I'm not feeling that reciprocal. I like that yeah. because, yeah. I, and I think mm -hmm. different relationships are different. Because, like, yeah. I've had exes where I'm like, I don't even touch dishes and, like, I don't feel but anything. Now, mm. But, like, at this time, it's like, <laughs> yeah. all right, it's time to wash dishes. Yes, oh, I my do God, why are there yes, five I dishes in the sink? Let me start washing. And it's not as if he's like, you better wash those dishes. But I just feel the need to do so exactly. and yeah. he's also a feel the need to take care of things exactly. so yeah. it makes sense yeah and also i just want to um, make like a distinction yeah. people have different strengths in a relationship Absolutely. if for example you are the one who has a lot more money and you're able to do more that's just your strength in that mm -hmm. maybe he's a person who's like he's a gift giver he's the one who's like more attentive yeah. he's the one who's more affectionate we give in very different ways so yeah. i don't believe it's like you know you are a millionaire and you're there like holding your coins so you can split the bill because he needs to do, you, you know no, what I mean? No, or you are the person who's like not that affectionate yeah. and then the other person is holding back affection because of that. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I feel like the thing which you are stronger, for example, like let's say in the dynamics with um, a human and her boyfriend, it's I'm the one who's going to take care of the home and you're the one who's going to provide. But both of you are not doing the same thing, mm -hmm. but you're still giving yeah. you 100%, yeah. Yeah. you know? Because yeah. I feel like that tends to be a bit of an issue. Exactly. He doesn't give me as much as me, I give with him, him exactly. but it's he's the one who like wakes up at this and this hour to go and do exactly. this for you. And yeah, yeah, I think we, that's we a big distinction. But you know what's interesting? Why is it that women now, when we're the ones who are giving more, we feel a, like in terms of financially? Mm -hmm. Why is there that problem? Because we aren't, we have not been conditioned that way. The same way we've been conditioned to be nurturers, yeah. we have not been conditioned to be to be the provider. Yeah. We yeah. just haven't. We are working on it and we're working, we're working on breaking on these it. norms. Yeah, I'm not but true. Uh, okay, personally. <laughs> don't, please don't speak for everyone. <laughs> See, I'm working on it. No, I'm working here's the thing, on it. Yeah, let me tell you the truth. What I mean is, God forbid if um, you lost his job. Yeah. That's it. No, no that's different. That, no, but yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Like okay. We just have to be comfortable mm. sometimes with being sometimes the ones to be able to carry that. For a certain exactly. period of time, not forever. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> one, we'll just, I feel like that's a whole other talk that talk. Yeah. 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 Tell us if you want us to do it for talk that talk. Yeah. The hashtag is Ibu Let's Talk uh, and the WhatsApp number is down below. That has been really interesting. I feel yeah. like you could go on. On and, and on. on. And mm -hmm. on. But it's time for game. <laughs> So today's game is musical chairs. I don't need to explain how to play musical chairs. We all know. Stand up. All yes. right, let's stand do up, it. ladies. <laughs> Whoa! So we have our chairs over here yes. off to the side. Ugh. Yep. 
I, I have like, to warn you guys. In high school, I was a champ. I was oh, you were the musical I chairs at, queen. Yes, exactly. Okay, just right. so you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So music will play. We just need to sit on the chair when the music stops. Yeah. You oh my know. God. Look at Ayuma. She's like. Ready. I know, yeah, so I'm ready. ready. Are you running? Huh? Are you running Look somewhere? at her waist that does hey! not exist Fire anymore. Fire waist, Jesus. Hey, fire waist, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> she won. I was too busy. Woo! You, you were too busy keeping asking her eye the on questions. The game. Ah, she was like ready. okay. It's this dress. This I dress I, killed it for you. I can't believe that Joe didn't win. I know. I'm actually so surprised. <laughs> You know I'm what, very sad. To all my fans out there, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Good job. Yeah, Yay! Yay! Winner! Woo! Your workouts have been working, see? Oh, by the way, yeah. I think that's the reason why, because I it's was about right. to yeah. faint as I was moving around in those circles. I know. I'm like, I need my water. I need my water, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, stay strong, boo. Stay hey, strong. Let me stay strong, man. Oh, okay, so what are the practical examples um, or like advice do we have on like how to, when you're entering a relationship, to be super observant about those dynamics? Yeah. I think for me, the key thing is be very upfront about the uncompromising things that you believe. So yeah. things, for example, like, I don't ever want to have children. Yeah. You know, things like, I am a Christian and I would only like to be with a Christian. Yeah. Things which you are not willing to change because yes. I feel like the small things, you can always find ways in yeah. between like later on. Mm -hmm. But lo those big things, mm -hmm. even if you don't feel bad about them right now, yeah. two years, three years, four years, five years down the line, you're going to actually really feel bad about them. So have those things. And once you find out you're not compatible in an issue, which is a huge issue, yeah. don't don't even Let take it, it any further. Let it end there. Yeah. Sure I feel as if I'm all about time frames, time frames, Time frames, mm -hmm. time frames. Yeah. The first three months are like honeymoon. Oh my gosh, baby, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Anyone can, be, can pretend <laughs> to be who you want them to be and who for they they can pretend yeah. for three months. That's why I feel so six months, it's, it's like you haven't wasted your time completely, mm -hmm. but their true colors start to show a lot yeah. more, mm -hmm. especially when you're meeting them more than just every weekend for a date. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like six months is a good time to realize, okay, so maybe this is not the guy that I want to be with, or he's amazing and I can deal with his imperfections. He deals with mine and you just Absolutely. continue on. Yeah. Um, I think a big one is like trying to understand what he admires about what dynamics in people, right? Mm. When you're having conversations about um, JMB and he's just like, me, a woman who's just like, she's always just here about her career. I, me, I can't. He's not talking about you, but he's talking me. to you. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, or even in the dynamics in his re the, his relationship with other people, yes. like around him, mm -hmm. like his opinions about those things are really important, or the things he admires about his mom. The things he admires about his mom, chances yes. are yes. he believes are an expectation for a oh woman. Yes. Like, you know? So when he's just like, hey, my mom, like, you know, my dad used to just disrespect, <laughs> him, disrespect huh? her yeah. and like she really humiliated. Uh -huh. Yeah, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you don't think I can be that way. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. when somebody's mm -hmm. telling you what they admire, they're just giving you a little bit of a roadmap yeah. as far as where That's you guys are one. heading, yes. you know? Yes. And since he's the man of the house, the dynamics tend to shape around like, you know, more of what he knows because their presence is Absolutely. just like a lot stronger. Yeah. Yeah. So be observant about those. Absolutely. I talk to you about their mothers all the time. Ooh. I want to hear. Mm. If he hates his mom as well, red flag. No. Like airborne. <laughs> anyway, if he hates his mom, red flag. If he loves his mom too, too much, much, red flag. Red flag. Oh, can they win? Balance. <laughs> Balance, babe. But yeah, we have loved today. And we want to hear everything that you think. Make sure you're on the hashtag, Ebru Let's Talk. And the WhatsApp number is down below. We will see you tomorrow with this same energy. Maybe ah. a little bit more for Friday's show. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. My name is Lydia KM. And that's Lydia KM on all social media handles. And I am Joan Muni, guys. Make sure you tune in tomorrow's show we have a really fun guest not yes. gonna say who it is but a really fun guest yeah i'm joan muni at yamimami.ke on social this show honestly makes me so happy because if i get just a chance like to talk to have girl chat yeah, as happy as sister. food makes you no okay oh no y'all are not that good but you know what if you guys enjoyed the show as much as i did why don't you go ahead and show us some love on our social media and of course hit us up on um definitely on our instagram ibu underscore let's talk no ibu let's talk underscore official but for now it's your girl Ayuma Kaguli, simply Ayuma, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.